My name is Matt Hodson and I'm going to demonstrate an easy raw food recipe. So it's going to be raw red pepper soup, raw spicy red pepper soup actually. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is make some hemp seed milk. And I'm just using Nativa organic shelled hemp seed raw. And what I'm going to do is put two cups of water in a blender and a little under a cup of hemp seed and blend it. So here is two cups of water going in my blend tech and a little under a cup of hemp seed, shelled hemp seed, going in the blender. And I'm just going to put the top on and I'm going to use the smoothie setting, I guess. Alrighty then, there is hemp milk. Now since I'm actually using this in a recipe, I am going to strain it. I have a bowl lined with a nut milk bag right here. All right, so I'm just going to strain the hemp milk. So the hemp milk has been strained and that's what the inside of the bag looks like now. You can see all the little hemp stuff there. So what I'm going to do is put the hemp milk in a liquid measuring cup. See how much I get. Hopefully it's near two cups. And it is. Alright. So that is a little over two cups actually. I'm just going to pour a little bit out because I need two cups. Okay, so now it's right about two cups and I'm just going to go ahead and pour that back into the blender. And I'm going to get the other ingredients ready. So for red pepper soup you obviously need a red pepper. I'm just going to cut the top off. This looks like that. I'm going to get the middle part out and some of the seeds out. And I'm just going to chop it up um, just in half and then in half again. So now I got four big halves. I'm just going to put it in the blender. Just to save time, I'm not going to show every single shot of everything I chop and stuff because I kind of got a late start to this. I just want to kind of get it going. So, so the next ingredient is a Roma tomato. Just going to cut that in half and in half again. So now that is in four sections. And then I'm going to throw in about a fourth of a small sweet onion. So I'm going to cut that in half. Cut that in half again. And I'm going to get the peel off. I'm just going to throw that in there kind of in sections. Next ingredient is a small jalapeno pepper. I found this little guy at my local grocery store. It was one cent. So I'm going to cut the end off and just cut it in half and throw it in there. Next I'm just going to chop up a clove of garlic and throw that in there as well. Next I'm going to put in half an avocado so I'm going to open this up. There weren't very many good ones at my local store so I'm hoping this one's okay. Yeah this one's alright. And let's see here. Nope. That one's too loose to do that, so I'm just going to do that. And I've learned with soups to use a smaller half, and they're both about the same size, so I'll just use this side, I guess. Uh, use a spoon to get it out. I'm just going to chop it up a little bit, and then throw that in there. 
that adds creaminess and smoothiness to it and fattiness and avocado-ness and goodness so that's in the blender now gonna add just a little bit of olive oil this is optional just a tad and a little bit of salt this is also optional not too much just a little bit I'm gonna put a little bit of fresh cilantro in there my local grocery store had it on sale for a dollar this is organic cilantro so um, I'm just gonna take just a little bit like maybe that much and throw it in there I also have fresh oregano I'm just gonna throw a little bit of that in there too just take your fingers and get it off of there like that I'm also going to squirt just a little bit of fresh lemon juice in there that's probably good so everything's in there now and I'm just going to give it a blend on the soup setting and I might need to put a little bit of water in there depending on how thick it is I'm just going to see what I got so here we go then that actually blended for about a minute and a half so let's see what we got oh yeah that looks good ooh that smells good all right so I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in a bowl I didn't need to add water in there it's nice and thick so I'm gonna pour it in a bowl take a picture and record the final scene alrighty then there it is raw red pepper soup give it a taste here Oh, that's got a nice kick to it. Took me a second to process it. <laughs> yeah, that is good. That's actually pretty good. Definitely has a nice little kick to it. Spicy red pepper soup. Yeah, I like it. So this, along with the other soups that I've made, this tastes like it would be better cold. So I'm actually going to put it in the fridge for like half an hour or so and uh, go ahead and give it a taste when it's cold. Alright, so it's been about half an hour and the soup is a little more chilled now. I'm going to take a taste. That is good. It actually needs to stay in the fridge a little bit longer, maybe another half an hour before I actually eat it. But um, yeah, this actually turned out pretty good takes a second for the jalapeno to kick in but you can feel it when it does and it's interesting even though it's a cold soup the jalapeno kind of gives it some heat so that's actually a little trick that you can use with raw food to uh, make it warming or provide some heat is to use hot pepper like that jalapeno or whatever but um yeah I'm gonna put this back in the fridge let it get a little colder before I finish it and That'll be it. So thanks for watching this video and I will see you next time.